A North Texas woman tells Fox 4 that she was forced to take pills and was physically assaulted when a man she says she was trying to help kidnapped her. So it all started at a Taco Casa in Lancaster where the kidnapping victim says she saw a man who looked like he needed help. She bought him tacos. She says when she located him again in DeSoto, he attacked her, got in her car, and told her to drive south. Fox News' Amelia Jones spoke to that woman who has a message for others in order to protect themselves. Amelia. Right, Steve, the entire drive from DeSoto to Laredo, the woman tells us that she feared for her life. She believes that she's back home safe with her family thanks to a code phrase that she set up with her daughter and an OnStar representative. Well, but not well. <laughs> While clutching onto her rosary, a woman who was at the center of a clear alert earlier this month recounts a harrowing experience that started with her wanting to help out a seemingly homeless man. She doesn't want her face shown and we're no longer using her name. She says on February 1st, she just finished work as a nurse when she saw a man near a taco casa in Lancaster. She went to buy him tacos, but when she came back out, he was gone. She tells Fox 4 she later located him nearby in DeSoto. She describes what happened next. I rolled it down not very far, enough for me to get my arm out to hand him the food. She says the man reached his arm into her car, put it in park, and hopped in her back seat. It happened within 10 seconds of that. She tells us the man told her to get on I-35 and drive south. At one point, while he was distracted, she texted her daughter with a code phrase they set up for emergencies. I text her purple pancakes. I was able to get that out with my left hand down here. <laughs> she was also able to describe her kidnapper. Her daughter called police. A little bit after San Antonio, it just kind of changes, and I realized I was, I was going south, very much south. She says they made three stops, one for gas, another for the man to use the bathroom, and a final stop about 20 miles from the border where she says he got out of the car. I was instructed to stay on that road, drive through the border, not to the border like people are saying, drive through the border. After I go through the border, drive 20 and turn around. That was it. During the hours long drive, she says the man assaulted her. Yes, I was assaulted physically. I was strangled and he forced her to take pills. I had no choice in this matter, so I took, I took whatever was in his hand and I swallowed them with water. Once he was out of the car, she repeatedly hit her OnStar call button. Finally, she got a hold of someone who said they were getting help for her. I was telling her I'm literally at the border. I don't think you realize I'm, I'm, I'm right here. I'm, the lady's right here. And she was just telling me, whatever you do, do not drive, don't drive through. Eventually, she says she encountered Border Patrol agents while the OnStar representative was still speaking with her, and she was taken to a hospital in Laredo for evaluation. Don't think you're, I mean, that will never happen to me. It does happen, and it, it did happen. She told me she's aware of negative comments about her story and has this message for anyone who is doubting her. So that was completely out of line, very out of line. It's. You don't know what my children went through in those hours. I just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time and wanted to give a guy a taco. That's it. The woman tells us that during the drive, the man stole her driver's license, a photo of her children, and took her cell phone. She did get that evaluation at a hospital in Laredo. The woman says once she was back home in North Texas, she got another evaluation. We asked DeSoto police if they had any updates on the search for the suspect or updates in the case. They responded saying this is still an ongoing investigation.